Hello everyone, we are back with another video and in this video we're going to discuss how you can use composite request with MuSoft. What happens when you send multiple requests to your Salesforce organization and how many requests are too many for Salesforce to handle? Let us take a use case. Assume a company needs to do multiple API calls to multiple objects on their CRM platform to achieve customer satisfaction. In this case, we are using Salesforce as a CRM platform and MuSoft as an integration platform. For example, we build an application in MuSoft which receives 100 requests per hour. And in the MuSoft application, we have multiple Salesforce connectors calling multiple Salesforce objects. Let's say we have 10 Salesforce connectors in MuSoft application to update multiple objects. This means 100 requests will call Salesforce 1000 times. There gotta be a better way, right? Presenting Salesforce Composite. Salesforce Composite executes a series of REST API requests in a single call. Salesforce Composite connector enables you to work with Salesforce Batch and S Object Tree APIs. That means you can send multiple requests at once to Salesforce and use the output of the request as input to the subsequent request in that batch. This is super beneficial when you have complex integrations to Salesforce and need to call the org multiple times in the same API. If the number of requests is high with multiple callouts, it can lead to reaching the maximum limit of requests that Salesforce can handle per day. In that case, you can use Salesforce Composite to eliminate that risk. So for this demo, I'm going to show you two flows. I'm going to show you a normal flow where we are calling Salesforce multiple times using Salesforce connector inside MuSoft application. And then I'm going to consolidate those requests in a single composite flow request. So let's head to our AnyPoint studio and see that in action. Thank you for watching. We are in our AnyPoint studio and I've created a project called composite request. And in this project, I have created two flows for demonstration purposes. The first flow is a non-composite flow in which I am updating my contact object and I'm also updating the associate account to that contact object. As you can see, I'm making three calls to Salesforce. First call is where I am updating my email address on the contact object. And the second call is a query call where I am getting the account ID related to that contact object followed by updating the account object this can be consolidated into one simple composite request how do we achieve that let me show you guys but first i'm just gonna stop this flow so that it doesn't run and it doesn't give me errors so i can simply toggle these connectors because i did not set up any configuration there and if I'll try to run this, it's going to throw an error. So that's good. I'm just going to go ahead and save it. In the composite request flow, I have a simple scheduler that is scheduled to run every thousand milliseconds, followed by this transform message. This transform message contains the composite body. You need to make sure that you are sending the composite request in JSON. I've tried using Java, but it does not work. So what I'm doing here, I'm simply creating a field called composite request, which will contain the body of what I want to update. As you can see here, I have defined two methods on two objects. So the first request contains the contact object, and I would like to update the contact object. And in the contact object, I would like to update the email field. So the current field is set to this. As you can see, the Gmail is typed wrong. I would like to update this with correct information. So I have added the email as the field name and the value is set to getsetmule at gmail.com, which is our Gmail account. And the next request is on the account object where I'm changing the account name associated with that contact object. So right now the account, as you can see here, is set to between two mules YouTube. Whereas I would like it to show as between two mules. So this is the composite body. After that, I'm simply executing that particular payload using a 
execute composite request connector. So here in the Salesforce composite config, I have to create a connected app, which will provide me the consumer key, consumer secret. If you don't know how to make a connected app, comment down below and we will make a video on that as well. So I have filled the information here. And if I test the connection, the connection will be successful as you guys can see here. And I'm simply sending the payload in the request body. And after that, I have a logger just to log the payload. So let me go ahead and debug this to show you guys how it actually works. So now we are in our debug mode. As you can see, I have a breakpoint here, so the flow will stop here. Right now, the payload is set to null, but after we do step into, the payload will contain the composite request body. And after I move forward with the execute composite request, the payload will change. As you can see, the payload is in Java format and it will contain the response of both the request in a subsequent manner. So as you can see, the first response is for the contact name and the second response is for the account name. So it says the status code 200 for both of them. It means the update has been made. So let's go to our Salesforce and check it out. So for the contact object, as you can see, there's a typo here. If I'll do a refresh, as you can see now the email has been updated with the correct email address and similarly for the account name if i hit refresh you can see the account has been updated so that's how you can execute composite request using musop it's a great way to consolidate multiple requests but there is a limit you can send up to 25 subsequent requests using salesforce composite connector so i hope you guys like this video Please make sure to comment down the feedback below and we will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.